So, um, I'll just point out the table that we have above. And so whenever we have a cross, we have a, when it crosses or cuts the x-axis, we have x take a as a linear factor. When it touches, we have x take a squared as a quadratic factor. All right. If we have x take a to the power of 3, we have a flat cut where it cuts it, but it's flat. And then we have a, a really flat cut, uh, flat touch is when we would really exaggerate it, would be uh, to the power of 4. All right. Mainly we'll only deal with the first two, but what we're going to start with is we've got the graph of a polynomial equation here, and we're going to find its equation. All right, so we can see from this graph that it cuts the x-axis at minus 2 and touches at x is 1. Are these boys <laughs> know what's going on. <laughs> so that means it's going to have this form. I'll just talk to the camera again. <laughs> It's going to have the form x take minus 2 and x take 1 squared. Okay? x take minus 2, alright, take away the root, that's a factor, and x take 1 squared because it touches at that point. Alright, so the polynomial is x plus 2, x take 1 squared. In order to determine the value of a, we need to use an extra piece of information. Yeah, right. We have when x is 0, y is 3 from the y-intercept. We'll plug that in. solve for a and then rewrite the polynomial cubic because we have a linear times a quadratic mm. all right so you boys were happy with that maybe you're only doing this a little bit yeah really good okay so let's talk quickly about question two then question two says sketch the polynomial sketch the polynomial that touches the x-axis at minus one so it's touching at minus one y intercept at five and cuts at 2. If it has those properties, it has to be above the x-axis here. All right, It can't end up being a minimum point and then somehow having a y-intercept of 5. It has to have those properties. Now, if we were to find the equation of this one, all right, we would have x take minus 1 squared, so x plus 1 squared. It touches at minus 1 and cuts at 2. And we always put A out the front. A is the dilation factor, and it affects how much it's stretched. And we could go through and find A by plugging in that coordinate. When X is 0, Y is 5. Really good. Okay. Um, and just when I talk about, like, this is a cubic polynomial, right? And when we put A out the front, and if we don't um, define A, A, this allows for every possible cubic polynomial with these solutions. So there are a few questions of that that pop up in the previous exercise where it says find all, if it says find all cubic polynomials, or you just chuck an A out front. A allows for all circumstances of dilation up to infinity. Really good. Alright, I'll stop there. Let's move on to the next exercise then, if we're happy with that.